Hello everyone, my name is Hilary Chin. Thank you for coming and watching our YouTube channel. Today we want to teach you how to group questions and use these group questions to create a skip logic, okay? Right now we, in, we are in our um, Kobo Toolbox um, website. This is a project that I cloned. I uh, will be doing that in another project, in another YouTube video, sorry. So right here we have this question that says region. So we gave choices, uh, Northwest and Southwest. Uh, we put it down. We also ask name of division, name of community, name of school. Um, we ask type of school. We wanted to know if it's community school, etc. These are the options that we gave. And then here we gave, we ask a question um, of class. Class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4. We want to collect data from schools. Um, and in these schools, we want to get the data per class. Okay. And then we came here, we asked number of boys in class 1, number of girls in class 1 number of IDP boys in class 1, number of IDP girls in class 1, number of special needs boys in class 1, number of special needs girls in class 1. So you see only in class 1 we have six different um, seg and data segregated in terms of IDPs, in terms of special needs, in terms of boys and in terms of girls. And we did the same with, we want to do the same to, with class 2, and we want to do the same um, with class 3, you see, and we want to do the same with class 4, and we want to do the same with class five and we want to do the same with class six okay it means we have to group this data in class one class two class three class four class five class six so grouping your questions in Kobo toolbox is very easy so let's start with class one so we come here in class one and we come here this is class one we hover around with our mouse here and we click control button and we hold it down and we click you see it turns to blue here and we go and select the second class one, we select the third class one, fourth class one, fifth class one. So we select every question that has class one in it. We have selected all the class ones and we come up here, it says create a group and we click, you see? And we find our group, this is our group here and we name this group class children in class one, okay? Children in class one okay and then we put it down you see how we do it and then now there's something I want you to take note here we also come here again we make sure that um, we click out of this and then we come again we hold we over with our mouse it turns to this we put down our control button and then we click we select this first question you see the whole um, the whole column turns to um, the whole row turns to blue. We come to the next question. We, sorry, we click. It turns to blue. We come to the other one. We click. So we select every um, question here that has two. Okay, we have selected all the questions that it contains two, and then we come up here and we click group, create a group. So it gives us a second group, and we name it children in class two okay great and then we lower this down perfect perfect it's going good we come again we hover around and we hold our control button down and we click it turns to blue we click another one click the next one click the next one click the next one so we select every question that contains three and then we go up here to our create group we create a group we find the group up here you see that's how we do it so children in class three okay and then we, we lower that down perfect so we come again hover around we select 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 every question here that has four that contains relates to class four we create a group we look for the group up here we have it here so children in class four in class four okay so we are going good and we lower this down we go to the next rub our mouse hold it down sorry we first click outside hold our mouse down control button down while we select all questions that contains five and we put group come up under here we see children in class five class 5 
and then we delete this the outside of it we come again hover around control button down and then we select we select we select. so amazing amazingly we have created our groups from class one class two class three class four class five class six so we also want to create a group here a small group here we want to group this and just write introduction so we put that our control button down and then we select we select please don't select inside here okay select by the corner here we select we select and then we call this group introduction we just say introduction for production okay great and then we close it down you see now we have created our group and then we save always make sure that you save okay it says successfully save and then we review the project we want to review it and see how it looks okay so this is how you group questions so now we are looking forward to start creating skip logic on these questions so you see how it looks like so each time you deploy this project this is how it's going to look like you see so it gives you area for introduction and then you have all the introductory parts here you see the questions and then it gives you another area for children in class one so it says number of boys in class one number of girls in class one number of idp boys in class one number of idp girls in class one number of special needs boys in class one number of special needs girls in class one and so on and so forth so we can just lower it down from here so let's go in and show you how to create skip logic using these groups okay it's very easy it's the same strategy and um, when you are creating um, um, in, in the individual equations we'll just go in now and show you how to create a skip logic so one simple rule with skip logic is that if you want to um, apply a skip logic in any question you must make sure that the questions that you're applying skip logic should be followed by the previous question that you want to apply skip logic for instance right here we want that um, this child in this group child children in class one should only appear if this question that says which class if class one is chosen okay we also want that only group that says children in class two should appear only when someone chooses class two okay it means that this question needs to appear before the other questions that we want to apply skip logic to for instance now if i go to this group this first group and i enter into this group i go to setting now it says all oh, group setting and it says skip logic and i click and it says add condition now i go here it says this question will only be displayed if the following conditions apply okay so if i choose this list i go to a question that says which class good the class now this question that says which class has different answers okay he has class one class two class three class four class five class six so i want this question to only apply appear if they choose class one because this is um for class one and i click I, I, I cancel that sign i come again to class two and i go again to skip logic and i go to add condition and i come here and i select that same question that say which class okay it says which class mm, where is it, it say which class okay so which class um not class one it says class two i only want this question to appear if they choose class two uh, once they choose class two the option class two comes up and then they start putting data for class two and then also i come again here and i put skip logic and i go in here i go to my skip logic again and i choose that question that says which class okay and then this question it says class three we are now in class three we choose class three it only appears if somebody selects class three we go now to class four and we do the same we go to skip logic and then we go to add condition and then now we say that the question that reads which class should on this question should only appear if this answer is chosen if class four is chosen and then we click okay and then we come to class five and we say that uh, we go to skip logic and then we say that this condition will only apply if the question that says which class um, the answer class 5 is choosing okay and we delete that and then we come again to class 6 now we are going to choose 6 okay and uh, the question that says um, which class is class 6 that is choosing okay and then we click that okay and then we save now we have applied our skip logic let's go now and preview this project and see how it looks so we are right now great so after previewing this project you see the amazement 
so which time I send this project you are just going to see introduction and when you click here and you begin to answer these questions and when you come down here and you choose class 1 you see it says children in class 1 number of boys in class 1 number of girls in class 1 number of bo IDP boys IDP boys in class 1 number of IDP girls in class 1 I need to fix this um, number of special needs boys in class 1 you see and if we come here and we choose class 2 you see it changes so each time you choose here it changes from down it changes the group you see it changes the group to group class 5 you see so it makes your questions clean and it makes it more organized and more coordinated especially when people are answering the form let's say you send this form to class 1 and class 1 teacher class 2 teacher class 3 teacher in their different uh, various schools okay a class 1 teacher just come here um, and then begin to enter data for class 1 she doesn't need to go to class 2 and bother herself and once she does that she just clicks submit and it goes um, to the database now another thing another trick I want to show you here is um, in order to change the position of this question I just need to click and I hold it you see and I play with it you see what I'm doing and I disposition it you see now children in class 6 has come up and then class 5 has come down I can still hold it again and I do the same you see I can my mouse changes like this and then I hover around and then I play with it like this you see so this is a good practice and um, you have to learn all this many times when we do our questions we turn to make some errors okay and we want to adjust them it helps us a lot and if I come to this group here now and I come to this particular group I can decide to add a question inside the group okay this is something I want you to know I can decide to add the question inside this group so if I want to add a question inside this group I click this sign here and add equation number of special need boys i can just say number of women eh? yes you see this is just an example and i go here and i choose numbers we want them in numbers and that's it i've added equation inside this question okay inside this particular group sorry children in class two so if i save this and we'll review and go back to children in class two you are going to see that particular question that reads um, number of women okay you are going to see it you are going to see it as we go inside there great so right here now um, this question that reads class 2 so if we go to class 2 you see you are going to see number of women you see number of women because we added inside the, this group okay thank you all very much for following us we thank you so much for watching this video and stay blessed and keep following us for more details on Kobo Toolbox, Excel, Power BI, Tableau R and SQL. Bless you and stay blessed.